Hi, I'm Steph, and this is Mac, and this is Tosh. So today I want to tell a quick little story about Miss Mac right here. Uh, so in April of 2020, Mac had a vet appointment, and um, I we drove her over there, and I was getting her out of the car, and basically what I do is she jumps out of the car, and I grab her collar, and I put her leash on, and this is what I had been doing for years. Also, I had not adopted Tosh yet. I got Tosh in November of 2020, so it was just Mac. So I, she jumps out of the car, and I go to grab her collar, and I miss the collar. And this all happened such a split second. So I, grab, I go to grab the collar, missed it. In that split second, Mac looks at the vet's office and realizes where she is. Then she looks at me, and then she bolts. So all in a split second, and Greyhound's are fast. When they want to be fast, they're fast. When they want to sleep, which is most of the time, they are slow like this. But uh, it was fast. So this happened in a split second. And she basically bolts and starts running. And where the vet's office is, I actually live basically across the street, but you have to cross four lanes of traffic to get there. And so she starts running towards the road. So I was wearing flip-flops and I was wearing a mask. So I was just like freaking out and I started running after her which is like crazy because she's a greyhound but I start running in my flip-flops and I finally uh, and I don't get very far but I'm also crying by the way because I'm envisioning that she's gonna get hit from one of these lanes of traffic and so I'm crying I'm running and I'm like out of breath so um, and my mom was there too and so my mom finally drives up to me in the car and she's like what do we do and I was like oh, let's go follow her so we get, we get in the car. Also, at the same time, every person, all the techs from the vet office are like running. We're all running after her. And we don't even see her because she ran so fast that we couldn't see her. We didn't know where she went. But I actually live basically like right across the street. So I, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking maybe she's running home. Although I had no idea. and I didn't know if she knew where home was. She's a smart dog. So of course she knew where home was, but I wasn't sure. We're all running after her. Like everybody's running after her. So my mom finally drives up and I get in and I say, let's drive. Let's drive home because we don't see her. And I'm looking at the street to see if I see her hit. And I'm just like, you know, all my head is just going exploding. Uh, I didn't see a dog laying down. So we drive across the street to my house and we keep driving in the neighborhood we don't see her we don't see her and then we drive we pull up to my house and we see a car park there and there's a and then we see a lady and the lady says I saw this dog run and she ran to your backyard and I was like thank you that's my dog and she's like I've been trying to get her um, and I think I have a little bit of video footage from it because my security camera caught it um, but she basically ran to my backyard and was trying to get in the backyard, but she couldn't because there's a little fence up. So she was trying to do everything to like get back there, but she couldn't. So she literally ran home. All the vet techs are running. They're all at my house. Everyone's at my house and we're so thankful that she's okay. But, um, but she was just there. She was like, you know what? My human's going to come home. I'm just going to wait for her there. She can stay at the vet's office. I don't need to be there. But yeah, so it became a thing at the vet's office that they actually learned this information about her that, um, so now, like, whenever I bring her, they're like, this is the greyhound that ran, or they don't know it's the greyhound that ran, and they're like, you know, once we had a greyhound that ran, ran home, and I was like, I know, that's her, and they're like, oh, that's her? Yeah, so she's the greyhound that ran home. It was a crazy day. I, like, I was so thankful she didn't get hit by a car. I really wish, like, I knew somebody that was like driving at that point and like told I wonder what they thought when they saw Mac run across I wonder if they even like because she kind of looks like a deer so I wonder if they thought it was a deer every time now when we go to the vet's office we make sure she's on leash before we even open the door so we haven't had that issue since and we're very we're all like right on her before um before the door opens so we've learned our lesson on that that front um uh, so let me know if you have any crazy vet stories about your dog because that's my craziest, I think. And she's kind of become like the the story of that vet's office. So I feel like that's not super common for dogs to run home. But, you know, for a greyhound, pretty common, I guess. <laughs> All right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that story and have a great day.